Hey, it's Grindcore is God, and today I have another gas mask with a mouthful of a name. It's the Draeger GTG RM1054 respirator. When I originally bought this mask, I thought it was the Polish GSPM respirator, which looks similar since it has a wiper on front. But then eventually I noticed that there wasn't an exhale valve on the side. I will be posting a picture later so you can see clearly what I'm talking about. Also, there's no filter input. On this gas mask, two tubes came out from here and there was a filter which used to attach to the tubes. This mask was used uh, in Germany in the 60s and it was produced by Draeger. It is an industrial mask and it was used mainly by miners. Okay, now it's time to do a full 360 view of the mask. Over here we have the full vision lens and the wiper. Actually, there are two wipers, one on the front and one on the back, which move simultaneously. Unfortunately, there is a huge crack in the middle of the glass. But uh, I think it just adds character, as it does not look any bad on the mask itself. Over here and here, there are two screws which can possibly be removed to replace the glass. Over here is something very weird which I've never seen on other masks of the same type. There is a number 134. I presume this number was possibly of a factory worker but you can never be too sure. Over here we have the... Uh, I'm not sure what to call it since it's not a filter input but the hose is attached here which leads to the filter. So I'm not sure what to call it. So we'll just label it the hole. Now, here we have the straps. These straps are a little weird. I will be showing how they work later on. But as you can see, this is the carrying strap. It attaches on the side. And this um, hook does not really have a purpose, but I just put the I just put the straps there. It could possibly be for the hose. Maybe there was another hook on the other side to attach it to, but you never know. And then on the other side we have this an S I do not know what this means and I wish I could know but this and this were basically just painted on they are not printed on the mask but are painted on so it could be some symbols used by the factory which distributed these masks I'm not sure if the camera is recording this, but the lens is pretty fogged up, so now I'm going to use the wiper. I mean, it's pretty handy because what wasn't clear is now clear, and I can see perfectly, except for the top, but most wipers, even on cars, do not reach everywhere, so it's pretty fine with me.
as you can see there isn't really much in the mask except for the hole where the hose is supposed to be and the wiper it is a very simple mask but it's a uh, it's one of the unique masks in my collection that I really enjoy okay so now I'm going to show you how to put on the straps the carrying strap is behind the neck and this goes behind and is attached to the hook over here now I like to place this part of the strap on the hook so that it looks neater and also you can tighten it from here so it stays well displayed on the head the back strap isn't really important because the mask really hangs from here on the top of the head the mask is very comfortable it looks very small because it was designed to uh, fit around the face and not around the whole head the straps are a little weird to put on but uh, it's a pretty comfortable mask although it's a pain in the ass to put on quickly Overall, this mask was a very good purchase. I mean, all my recent masks have been good purchases because I've bought them for good prices. I bought this one off eBay for 50 euros, including shipping, off the German eBay. You can find a lot of stuff on from there. Overall, I'm very happy with this mask and I think this is a very unique mask in my collection. I guess this is the end of the video. See you in the next video.